welcome Gemini to your September 16th, 2016 tarot reading for the full moon eclipse happening in Pisces. So what does spirit have to say to Gemini for the full moon lunar eclipse in Pisces? We call upon the energies of Mercury, the ruler of Gemini, to assist us in delivering messages to Gemini for September full moon 2016. Call upon the energies of Mercury, to deliver the messages for Gemini, September 2016. A final confusion card. Alright. Thank you, Spirit. Okay. So, at the beginning, the underlying overall subliminal message is Ace of Clubs. Ace of Clubs. This is the beginning of something, taking up action, possibly something you've thought of for a long time. Ace of Clubs is about creation, beginning, invention, start of an undertaking. Fortune, enterprise, gain, inheritance, the birth of a child, the beginning of a meaningful experience, an adventure, an escapade. So you're in for a pleasant, enjoyable, and exciting times, Gemini. Where do you find yourself currently? Your question is about the Three of Swords. This is about sorrow, disappointment. You had a breakup recently. Um, you have had sorrow. Three of Swords is absence, sorrow, disappointment, strife, removal, dispersion, diversion, opposition, separation, and delay. So, um, recently you, you were thwarted in love, forcing you to start a new beginning. Six of Cups, Remembrance, Fond Memories of Childhood. You are thinking about getting back together with someone uh, from long ago. Um, Six of Cups. Memories, past influences, things that have vanished, childhood past, nostalgia, and faded images. So uh, you're longing for some other time before. In your head you have the hermit, you've been isolated lately, uh, working very hard, um, possibly at school or at night, um, very solitary life. The Hermit in Hooded Cossack lo looks towards the left end edge of the card as if looking at his past. Mountains behind him symbolize hardship, um, meaning counsel, knowledge, solicitude, prudence, discretion, vigilance, circumspection, self-denial, withdrawal, regression, annulment, uh, tendency to withhold emotion, and a fear of discovery. So, um, you you have uh, had the opportunity to hang out with other people, but you um, have put it off. Uh, it doesn't hold much interest for you right now, and you have self-denied um, that sort of thing because you know that uh, it's not going to get you where you want to go. This is talking about, you know, perhaps you were uh, very, very close to somebody and um, you had 
some idea, it might not work out, but you were together for a long time, and then all of a sudden there was this sudden breakup, and now actually um, part of that breakup is, is something from the past you can't get over, so. All right, in your distant past, you have the Page of Swords, and this is an active youth or a life figure, um, a young person who bears a message. Um, vigilance, agility, spying, a discreet person, an active youth, a life figure, a person adept at perceiving, discerning, and uncovering the unknown or that which is less than obvious. Insight. So in the distant past, you were a person who prided themselves on seeing clearly on having great insight and, and being where people like least expected it. Um, just with something that was going on for you. Either that or you had a young person who was in your immediate environment who um, acted as your informant um, in a lot of ways or your counsel in some way. And then because of this, in your recent past, you've gone on a journey Eight of Cups, you've gone walkabout, you've, you've dream fasted, you've um, gone and um, looked around a little bit more. Discontinuance of effort, disappointment, abandonment of previous plans, shyness, modesty, and abandoned success. So there was some deal breaker and you walked. In your future, future influences the falling tower. This is a change of your material or physical reality because of all of this happening. A sudden break um, of old beliefs. The imperial crown falls from the tower along with gold coins, crosses, and other religious objects. Any man and a woman symbolizing the fall of the Russian Empire in 1917. Complete and sudden change, breakdown of old beliefs, abandonment of past relationships, severing of a friendship, changing one's opinion, unexpected events, bankruptcy, downfall, loss of stability, and a loss of security. So um, there are changes on the horizon for you at this time, Gemini. In your influence on others, their influence upon you, we have the Seven of Clubs, and this is very active. Um, Seven of Clubs is success, gain, overwhelming odds surmounted, advantage, victory, um, and it is um, speaking to me of you have helped someone a lot, and when it came time to them helping you, um, they may or may not have uh, come through, um, there's a strong feeling that others perceive you as a winner and you are very positive towards others and supportive of them in your sphere. Now, in your immediate environment, this is, this is, um, where you find yourself currently, is judgment. having to make a judgment on something. The Archangel Gabriel blows a golden trumpet while soaring on a cloud that resembles the lower part of an egg. Three people emerge from graves carved with Russian crosses. Uh, it symbolizes eternal life. Its meanings are atonement, judgment, the need to repent and forgive, the moment to account for the manner in which we have used our opportunities. Rejuvenation, rebirth, improvement, development, promotion, the desire for immortality, 
legal judgment in one's favor, one should carefully consider how present actions affect other persons. So, um, this is all about turning over a new leaf, deciding that uh, you are willing to make a change, a major change. Um, and this is speaking to me of legal judgment in your favor, but also um, that this is, um, you have finally decided to uh, change who you're hanging out with um, and changing what you do on a daily basis around other people. So, in your emotions right now, you have the Three of Cups, and you are good with this change. You are ready for this change. Three of Cups is three women with wreaths, and they're attending a party. It speaks of resolution of a problem, conclusion, solace, healing, satisfactory result, fulfillment, and compromise. So, um, you have worked something out and you have now moved on. Knight of Swords is your conclusion. Knight of Swords. So, um, this is bravery, skill, capacity, strength and dash, heroic action, opposition and war, impetuous and fearless rush into the unknown. A master in the art of action and warfare. So if it's a fight they want, it's a fight they're going to get from you, Gemini. And you have remained impartial for as long as you could. You have um, tried to avoid uh, journeying away too much from this situation for as long as possible, but that's all changing now. It's all getting wiped away because you've come to a sudden decision to take action. Um, and you're not going to take it anymore. You have stopped isolating yourself, although in your head you are removed and watching the, sis the situation as though from above. So you are approaching it expediently Take a moment just to think. Now, what is a clarifier card for Gemini, please, Spirit? There we go. We have the Lady of the Forest. Lady of the Forest. Okay. Eternal Feminine, Dreaming and Feeling The Lady of the Forest is the Eternal Feminine, the other half of everything. There is a bias towards the Feminine in Fairy because Fairy is in the intuitive, intuitive realm. A place of dreaming, creativity and imagination that we associate with the Feminine. The Fairy Queens hold sway here. But they dance the eternal dance of energy with their consorts and lovers, balancing the feminine with the masculine, presiding all over all of them, locked in embrace with the lord of the forest. The lady dreams the great dream that the lord externalizes. Together they create fairy, and it is their coupling at the very heart of the realm that makes it manifest. If you are graced by the presence of the lady, you are being asked to look deeply at the feminine within yourself and the feminine aspects of any relationship you are in. How do you feel? What does the relationship feel like? This can be a person, a relationship with a person, place, or an idea. Whatever is manifesting itself in your life at this time. Connect with the emotion of what is occurring. Go back to the source of the relationship the dream that began it, and think about what is happening right now. Because the Lord and the Lady are big energies, they work on deep levels. When you change on a profound level, 
those changes can take a long time to manifest in the world. You may not see or feel changes in your life immediately, but things will change. So this is about getting in touch with the feminine, the sacred feminine, Gemini, at this time. And Mercury, being hermaphroditic in nature, understands both the need for the ebb and flow and the relationship between sacred feminine and sacred masculine at the same time in order to bring the dream into reality and have an equal partner. So I sincerely wish you luck on your journey of uh, reciprocation and um, coming out about your feelings, Gemini. Satnam, Namaste, and many blessings, and I sincerely hope this reading has helped you a great deal. Take care, and I'll see you soon.